What is up, YouTube fam? Your boy is back on the grind another time. And man, I'm loving this garage, y'all. First test fit for the Escalade, a.k.a. Georgia. Georgia is inside, man. Uh, this is the video on the front brakes here. I'm going to go ahead and get it started. If you watched my last video, you saw that I am upgrading the front brakes on these. So a common upgrade on these, and it's something that I've always wanted to do, and I should have did it last time. Who knows, I might have, would have taken them off again because of the squeaky noise. But anyways, to make a long story short, uh, these brakes are really squeaking bad. It's an Amazon brand I got from Detroit Axle, I think it is. And I'm not knocking them in any way. I think it's uh, partly my fault for why they're squeaking because I don't think I cleaned the rotors good enough. And uh, also on the brake pads, they had some sort of weird substance on there. I don't know what it was. I figured that it would just probably burn off or something like that when uh, you use the car and the brakes and everything which they did but then now that I think about it it was given kind of like a weird smell and I think whatever substance was on top of those brake pads um, I don't know if it's something from the manufacturer or whatever but anyways it just smelled really weird and then now they squeak like crazy uh, they squeak when it's cold they squeak when it's warm um, definitely in warmer weather they squeak a lot and I just need to address it so I originally was going to take the wheels off and just kind of uh, clean the rotors really good and kind of scuff up the pads with some sandpaper. And a buddy of mine also said too, it's, it's usually good to kind of scuff the edges because sometimes those can kind of collect some particles and things like that and make your brakes squeak. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna look into just kind of seeing how much the upgrade is. And you know, these brake pads were cheap and all that. So uh, I ended up getting some new parts and I'm going to show you guys right now. Uh, these parts here are from O'Reilly's and uh, this and this is from Amazon. So uh, I saw a lot of good stuff on these particular ones here. And so this is why I picked it up. Uh, the only reason why I got drilled and slotted rotors is because, you know, uh, the buy was decent. And, you know, since I would like to be towing with this vehicle at some point, uh that would definitely help me out as far as my stopping power goes to have the drilled and slotted uh version so nothing wrong with the other ones as well i mean shoot they're far cheaper as far as cost goes uh but you know nothing wrong with those as well i just figured since i was already there i was gonna do it if i wanted to spend a little bit more and if i could get a good deal on it then i would uh go ahead and just get the drilled and slotted brands uh, this is the part number right here if you guys are interested in that and this is the part number here if you guys are interested in these rotors AR8654XPR. Now, this is uh, what they call the big brake option. Okay, the big brake option or version or upgrade. Uh, so, on the, uh, I don't know if I got my years right. So, it could be 2000 to 2006, maybe. Uh, maybe even 99. So, let's just say 2000 to 2006. Uh, they came with 12 inch rotors and I believe if I'm not mistaken uh, we'll do a comparison as well these are 13 inch rotors so uh, and then uh, you got the calipers uh, to go with them so that's why a lot of people will upgrade uh, from a 2007 and up uh, brake package and put them on these cars right here so uh escalade tahoe silverado you know gmc all those as well so uh these rotors right here drilled and sodded and as you can see it's a pretty big rotor there uh they're nice you know they pretty much look similar to my other ones just drilled and slotted and so there are those and then these i got from o'reilly's and um these were kind of expensive i think they're about a hundred 
120 bucks each but with the core i can get about 50 bucks each back so when it comes down to it uh 70 bucks probably each caliper and i didn't have to buy calipers uh for the fronts because mine were still good but i did have to buy a rear caliper because it was seized up um so you know it is what it is uh at least i'll know my calipers are good and they work and so we'll be good to go there but these are yeah these are heavy but yeah, I mean, pretty similar as far as setup goes. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the wheel, make sure they, uh, and take off the caliber, and, and then make sure that this fits on there. I'm just gonna bolt it up, make sure everything lines up, and be good. And if it does, then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave it on without the rotor, and I'm just gonna paint it while it's on there. And that's what I did last time. I just painted the calipers and everything on the car with my old rotors on there because I knew I was going to throw them away. And so I'm just going to paint it while it's on the car just because I don't have a whole lot of space. I'm doing some things in the back of my house. It's raining outside and I don't know, really know where to paint them. Front caliper, that's the part number for that. I think, I'm not sure if this is the passenger or I'm assuming this, this is the uh, passenger. But anyways, I think the uh, but the difference between the part numbers is a, is a one digit. So this ends in one nine. I think the other one ends in one eight. So same part number. Just ask for a two thousand seven. Uh, actually, this is for a two thousand eight, but it's all the same um, front brake caliper. And then these are just uh, you know O'Reilly's brand brake pads. I mean they were inexpensive, and uh, you know I heard they do the job. So that's what I am going with. So. Um, I'm excited about this man. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Uh, I need better stopping power So I'm really happy. I'm doing this upgrade uh, You know, I'm driving the car a lot more now With my training and everything. I'm hauling a lot of gym equipment I'm finding that when I'm driving especially with these bigger wheels that it's stopping and I can stop you know fairly quickly, but I feel like I, I could be stopping a little bit better. And I definitely notice it when all the stuff is out because it stops far, far better. Um, and I wanna start, you know, eventually toying with the vehicle uh, when, you know, car season comes back, hopefully, uh, you know, next year, hopefully we get a car season. And I wanna be able to, you know, stop on a dime, be efficient with it and not have to worry about it. So um, this upgrade I think will help me a lot and so I'm excited about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start disassembling things and get this thing rolling. Why didn't I upgrade sooner? <laughs> now this thing. Don't even wanna. Now this thing. Now this thing. Now this thing. Come on, now. Alright y'all, so I went ahead and uh took the wheel off, but I mean the rotors look really good. I mean there's no there's no grooves in them. I mean these things are brand new. These brake pads are putting out a lot of brake dust man I mean this caliper I painted black and look at it it looks like brown coated brake dust it's insane um, so what I'm gonna do now is I think I'm just gonna take uh, this caliper off and get this rotor off and uh, try to see if that other caliper does fit and if it does we good all right, you guys, after making a mess here <laughs> brake fluid everywhere that's my uh, original caliper this is my new one this is the 07 and greater model or newer model and that's uh my 2002 caliper now as you guys can see if you guys can tell it's virtually the same size and uh it looks like it is going to bolt on no problem but if you can see from the side a little bit i don't know if you guys can really tell but it does look a little bit deeper as far as uh the height and as far as how the caliper will fit so you can see here it's a lot closer here and then here how it's raised up higher and i believe that is to give that extra inch for this uh 13 inch rotor and this is the other rotor right here i'm gonna go go ahead and see if i can do this with one hand and set it on top of it but if you guys can tell, if I try to center it out, you can see how it's bigger all the way around, pretty much centered. So that's how much bigger that rotor is. And I don't know if you guys can tell side by side the difference, and I'll raise this up. So, uh, you know, pretty, pretty significant difference. So I'm excited about this. Uh, I hope it works out well in this, uh, 
and this will bolt up pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the caliper and just kind of to see if if it uh, if it bolts on well. And if it does, shoot, man, we in business. And man, it all fits good. I don't have it totally installed yet, but this is the rotor that's on. And oh man, that is crazy <laughs> how much bigger it is. Um, but I like it. It's on there. It fits well. Uh, the lug pattern's perfect. This is the old one here. I'm just painting it. So what I did is I had it on there before without the rotor and then I painted it on there and I just kind of masked everything off. And, um, now I'm just kind of painting the back side where I couldn't reach and I'll take you to the other side here. And this is how I, uh, kind of masked it off. And I don't know if you guys can kind of see this. Uh, that's how I masked it off. I just put some plastic wrapping around that I got in the in a package from something else and I just put it on without the rotor just painted it that way I didn't mess up the rotor or anything but it, and uh but man it is looking really good now this does say driver's side and I guess normally these slots would go uh the other way so instead of being kind of open like this as they uh spin forward like that uh they would this would go on the other side and they, they would kind of spin the other way. Now, I really didn't know kind of how they went on. And so I just initially just put them on. And after doing my, my research, I noticed that Bimbro, I guess, suggests that you put them this way like I had them uh, originally installed. And so what I did was I just left them that way. Um, I don't know why, I guess for like sports cars and sports performance purposes, they put them this way, at least on their set, particular set of rotors. I don't know, the vents in them could be different. Um, you know, I'm not really sure. So from my understanding, a lot of uh, places say it's not a big deal which way you put them. Uh, some of it's just for looks, some of it's, you know, serves a purpose, I guess. But, um, you know, if Bimbro says put them this way, then I guess I'll just put them this way. And so as long as they're all the same, it's good for me. You can put them the other way. I don't think it, it really, really matters for like your typical kind of daily driver car. Um, but it looks really good, y'all. So I'm just gonna leave them all this way. The other ones are this way. I'm just gonna leave them how it is. All right, y'all. So I got one side on and that's, what it looks like right here turn this light on real quick but uh yeah yeah i think it looks pretty pretty good definitely a lot bigger a lot 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 bigger so i'm happy i went with it we'll see the ultimate test when it's uh when it's in motion and see how it works uh i can already tell these brake pads are probably a little bit better quality than the ones i got from amazon uh, Detroit Axle got really, really good reviews, but uh, uh, I think I did read some reviews that the brake dust was like really, really bad on these. So if I take the, uh, it depends. If the rear brakes are squeaking too, then I'll probably take those off and just replace the brake pads. They're cheap enough and inexpensive enough. I can just swap them out with some O'Reilly's brand. But if they're not making any noise, then I think I'm just keep them. But uh, we'll see if this solves the issue. Uh, worst case, at least I got some better, some better brakes up front, and we should be good to go. So um, I didn't show anything as far as uh, disassembly and reassembly of this. I actually have a whole video on that when I first did the swap, but. Uh, you guys can reference that. I'll probably try to put a link in there so you guys can see it if you guys want to know how to. Uh, disassemble and reassemble and change rotors and all that stuff but all it literally was was two bolts if you guys can see i don't know if you can but it's this bolt right there that i'm shining on and then this bolt right under that line right under that line if you can see it and the whole caliper will come off that's it so that, those bolts are torqued pretty good. They're supposed to be 120 foot pounds from factory. I only have a torque wrench that goes up to 80 foot pounds, which reminds me, I probably should get a, a new torque wrench because that's all I've been wanting also. So what I did is I just went to 80 foot pounds on that. Then I took my breaker bar just a little bit more to kind of cinch it up, put some Loctite on it and I was good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side, but man, it already looks good. I can tell it's way, way bigger. And again, the word is, y'all, if you guys got stock stock rims, and I'll actually show you my stock rims in the back um, also too. If you guys got stock rims and you want to do this swap, 17-inch uh, rims, I believe, came on these 
this particular year, 2002, and the word is that they will fit. I've never done it before, but I've read plenty of forums where they said their 17 inch rims fit and they were good. Uh, but I did buy some and I'll, and I'll take you here at the end of the video uh, on the side of the house to show you which ones I got. All right, you guys, so I'm actually inside of my car, uh, away from the GoPro a little bit. I just wanted to kind of show you guys, if you're at home alone, um, I learned this trick from a buddy of mine in AZ when I was living down there at the time. If you uh, needed to bleed your brakes on your own, you can do it this way, um, by leaving a hose submerged the whole time, so that way when you pump the brake and you're inside the car, it's not sucking in air, but it'll suck in fluid. And so what you would keep doing is kind of keep pushing down the pedal and and uh keep watching for bubbles and as soon as the bubbles stop then uh you, you pretty much kind of know that you have no air in the system at least on that side uh now keep in mind here you'll probably see dirty fluid come out uh when i got this car the fluid was super super dirty and i'm sure that doesn't help with the uh stopping ability as well having bad fluid in there but i've been slowly kind of flushing it out and uh, eventually, you know, when I get these, um, when I get the car kind of tip top running, um, I'll have everything dialed in. So, uh, but this is a good example. So you'll see some of the old nasty fluid come in. It was far, far worse before, uh, but now you'll see it. So let me go ahead and uh, tap this pedal. So you can see there's air coming out and the, all the old dirty fluid is coming out. See how it's turning color and there's still some air bubbles coming out. Nasty. y'all we headed for a test drive but before that i'm actually gonna show you these tires that i got for this these rims and tires real quick and i got these for two hundred dollars two hundred dollars now i will need to get some new tires as the tread is pretty low i mean if i put these on i probably only got maybe maybe a few hundred miles on them or something like that so um but they're legit man and they're clean they are pretty dang clean you know so two hundred dollars rims and tires i am good with that all right y'all so here we go we're taking this thing for a trip hold on i gotta make sure i don't hit my car on the way out parked really close to my caprice and i don't want to hit that baby but yeah man we're gonna take this for a quick drive kind of see how it stops see if i bled the brakes right <laughs> way back out of here see if the squeaking stopped and keep the window down so you guys can kind of hear So far so good, no squeaking yet. I just stopped at that stop sign. Uh, so far so good, the brake feels the same as to when I put my, uh, my new ones on from the other time, but. Yeah, so far so good. I always hear a little bit of noise, but. 
I'm gonna try to get them warmed up first before I do like any hard, hard stops. Oh man, they seem way more top. Like, uh oh man, I guess I can't do any crazy stops because I got a bunch of stuff in the back. But yeah, yeah, I got a bunch of stuff in the back here, so I don't know how hard of stops I can make. Uh, so I'll just kind of do, do a mild, mild little test hit. But from a initial, it does feel a little bit more responsive. Like meaning the brake pedals is, is a little bit more on top. So that's good news. Yeah, I got like, I got weights back there, dumbbells from like five pounds all the way up to 30 pounds. I have uh, kettlebells and all that stuff because I'm going to train here. Uh, I got some clients, but I don't want to do any hard stops and then all of a sudden that stuff all rushes up front, man. I'm gonna try to go ahead and stop and pull in this parking lot real quick. Oh man, yeah. Way, 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 way better. Way better. I'll have to do a video one day of me uh, when I have nothing in it. Which I will after after this weekend, I will. So I'll try to do another video where I don't have uh, uh, anything in the back. But I can already tell, man, just from making just those initial stops, it's good. And there's no squeaking. No squeaking. So that's good as well, man. So I might not have to take anything... Uh, or the, uh, I might not have to take the, the rear brakes and calipers off in the back. So that's good news as well. Here, I'll go around the parking lot here and let you guys kind of hear. brakes are making noise unfortunately but it is what it is if it's not too bad I might not worry about it see what happens you know and then if I get some spare time I can take them off and, and kind of just address it then like I said I'll probably just get some new brake pads and throw them on and and uh let's call it good so yeah yeah I'm back at the house and uh I'm gonna go ahead and call this video man I think it was a success We'll see as the brake pads wear in and the rotors wear in, we'll see if it'll make any noise or whatnot. Um, I took some brake clean on the rotors and everything and I scuffed up the uh, the pads before I put them on. I don't necessarily know if you have to do that, but um, I've heard of that being done, so I just went ahead and just did it. And you know, since they're out, you might as well just do it. I just lightly scuffed them up, try to rough them up a little bit to see if that makes any better contact and I don't get as much build up there at the beginning. So, uh, But when I took off the old calipers, man, crazy 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 amounts of brake dust so i'm pretty sure it's those pads um or i um you know didn't put them on properly as far as like the initial cleaning but you know we'll see so anyways man go ahead and call this video you guys know what to do man like comment subscribe share do all that good stuff man i am out of here gotta get some more work done and man the grind don't stop deuces